so hi and welcome back to my video and uh, the, the video I would like to do today and talk with you is about something that many of us already built back in back in time you know because it was a model proposed by Fujimi I think in 2011 around that time you know and uh, it is referred to the Porsche uh, 997 GT3 R uh, they proposed it in different boxes you know mostly without the main sponsor so it was uh, uh, I think proposed in a presentation library and uh, some cartoon uh, series that I personally don't know uh, the video is quite simple you know I don't want to talk about the model you know this is uh, a car that I already uh, made some years ago and uh, made evolution of the racing version of the GT3R that raced in 2013, 14, 15 in that years, you know, that was much wider in the fenders uh, and uh, uh, featured went over the front fenders, uh, very, very big uh, uh, rear axle, you know, so it was mostly a completely different car, you know, it was just similar in the overall look and uh, shared with the previous version mostly the chassis and the, the, the interior parts you know but all the external carrosserie was completely different and I made the model in racing you know about that car that uh, you've seen many my many of my previous videos you know so uh, just an easy test because I'm waiting to start another project now so during these uh, days I'm just fixing some stuff that I have floating around my desk and uh, I just wanted to uh, improve a little because the idea is anyway to keep this body and to do anyway a version of this beautiful uh, car uh, even if it is not my favorite one uh, because it, the, 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 the following one was much wider so I like uh, wider bodies over Porsches, over racing Porsches and uh, mostly what I wanted to do here was to improve a little what Fujimi did not make in their molds you know uh, I don't know for which reason, probably for moldings reason, for stability, I have no idea, but when you take the original model from them, you will find all these vents completely closed, so this front one, all this uh, lower one, this will be closed, and on the rear the same, uh, this little one, it's line basically, will be completely closed, that two vents are closed, so you know, it's uh, something that gives an appeal of extremely toyish uh, to the to the part you're going to work with. Uh, to do this operation, uh, I didn't work with uh, so and so on. I just worked with uh, the reversed part of uh, the blade. I tried to find the real one because it is uh, the half moon blade. I used this one, the squared one, as you can see and uh, reverse it and simply gently following the lines of the panel little by little and it's time consuming work you know and uh, you can easily make uh, if you have a little spare time and you don't want to track the body uh, as well as uh, in the same way I uh, engraved even more the panel line the main panel line like from the bonnet and from the doors because in Fujimi molds they are quite uh, uh, very very light molder it is the same problem that you will find now if you take the mold from Meng models about the new GT40 they made the, the, the panel lines that are very very light molded over the body so it's very easy that when you apply paint uh, when you work with it uh, they became nearly they fade away so they became nearly impossible to see it is true that it is a modeling convention you know but uh, I think that just engrave it a little exactly in this way be absolutely easy you have to start very very uh, gently and then when the line is done go a little deeper you know in the same way when you want to take it away the front vents uh, is also useful maybe that with the mini drill and so on you keep it thinner the plastic in this area so all this part will become much more easy to work with and much more easy to uh, hold and cut you know it is a word that you have to uh, make a little experience but it's absolutely worth it because the final overall look you already seen is already different from what you get in the box and uh, it's absolutely nicer you know to see the opening vent and so on and in the finished model you can decide uh, how to fix it with a little uh, net inside that gives anyway much more deepness to the area 
and it's much more nicer to see uh, when the model is complete also much more easy to paint you know when you paint the model you don't have to think about masking this area or paint them in black uh, like uh, it's the same situation you have in the Fujimi uh, Z4 GT3 they have the same problem in the front vents uh, and in the rear vents so everybody nearly everybody is in they cut it away you know but maybe this process to cut it away can be a little scary for some models because you know you have to be anyway cutting the body so it's anyway holes that you uh, do in the plastic body uh, another detail that I had because in some picture I seen it uh, it was to engrave this line that in the model is not present you know and add some little rivets of the extra fender uh, I don't think there is the same on the front one I made it anyway because you know it was an experiment so I want to see how it goes and I don't exclude to convert this body you are looking now into the electrical one with the extra air intake here I had to study a little better I think I have the decal for the version you know but I don't want to trash this uh, uh, nice body I don't have think right now any any other models of the GT3R I think I bought uh, about uh, six or seven of them and then I sold and I made uh, like my uh, e evolution versions you know so I never really made the ordinary standard uh, straight from the box uh, uh, GT3R from Fuji maybe this can be an idea even more now than the body is uh, so finished and complete the same for this little vent side of the front wheel uh, in the same situation you can thinner down the plastic inside and, uh, and that's it it's a very very easy tip that I give to open all this area you know and as I say just always work with a reverse knife and uh, if you have there is also some sharp uh, uh, drills uh, they are they, the quality one they come very very expensive so I don't think that many out there have it but uh, this one probably everybody have it and it's quite easy because the plastic is anyway uh, quite soft to, to, to cut and not so uh, uh, not so problematic you know you just have to pay a little attention you know mostly for these areas you know this one in front of the bonnet this was the version that had this final bonnet and also there was the version with the three vents over you know was a little different one racing in the same uh, periods you know we are talking of uh, years around 2010 2012 that years you know uh, probably the most problematic one is this one considering the Fujimi model uh, this uh, final spoiler is molded apart so you can work without this and it's much more easy not to damage the part that will be the the, 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 the rear spoiler so it's quite easy to do it and the same for this side one that it's so typical to see them you know in the in the GT3R when you see them racing this is uh, quite always the part that you can see very very clearly Fujimi made anyway a very very nice uh, model so I still like a lot this uh, 997 despite is uh, more than 10 years old now time passed incredibly quick and uh, I think it's worth it to go on and plan for something interesting to be uh, to come in the future we will see thanks for watching guys